All right, we are now just three days away from the great American solar eclipse, but state officials anticipate crowds are going to start to pick up as early as tomorrow. And that's why today Governor Mike DeWine held a news conference to underscore the importance of planning ahead for this once in a lifetime event. The hours until totality may be down to double digits, but years of planning have gone into this event. That's because the last time there was a total solar eclipse in Ohio was 1806. The capital was in Chillicothe and the state was only three years old. Governor Mike DeWine held a news conference from the state's emergency operations center today where he says representatives from various departments, including the EMA, State Patrol, ODOT and National Guard, will all be Monday monitoring the situation in real time. In addition to the 7.2 million Ohioans who live in the path of totality, it's anticipated there could be anywhere from 100 to 500,000 visitors who flood the zone. That number fluid based on the weather forecast. If it's dramatically different in one part of the state versus another part, you know, you may see some real movement to the to the area where that's the cloud cover is not there and they'll have a chance to get a better 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 view and they warned that could lead to serious congestion both in terms of traffic and large crowds ohio's emergency management agency director says that they've studied other states that experienced the 2017 eclipse to help prepare we don't always get a lot of time leading up to to events right so having 200 years in the making has been very beneficial for us she says it's important to make a plan, come prepared and be patient. A few of her suggestions, make sure you have a full tank of gas and top off regularly. If you drive an EV, a fully charged battery is going to be needed. Pack a kit with things like paper maps in case cell reception is an issue. Snacks, drinks, cash and a cell phone charger. If you're bringing a pet, plan for them too with water bowls and other necessities. Also, make a communication plan with family and friends so you know where to meet up if separated in a large crowd and stay weather aware with the Fox 19 weather app and notifications turned on. Patience is your ally during this once in a lifetime event. Expect delays and adopt a patient mindset when experience slower speeds and increased travel times. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says it's going to be all hands on deck Monday, including aviation units out patrolling from the skies. Governor DeWine hasn't activated the National Guard, but says troops are on standby in case they're needed to help deal with traffic. Despite all our cautions and, you know, this is not gloom and doom. This is a this should be a fun day, should be an interesting day for people. Uh, and we just think, you know, we want people, everybody to have a good time. That's what we're, our goal is. So again, if you're out and about this weekend, the governor says you likely will start seeing more traffic beginning tomorrow with it increasing and picking up all the way throughout the day on Monday. So make sure that you give yourself a little bit longer to get to your destination, something you'll definitely want to keep in mind.